Hey, beautiful people of the living God, all praises to the Most High. So the Father has a beautiful message for you. It all, it does also link in with the reconciliation and restoration of the children of Israel and the children of Judah. So he has two scriptures, just two scriptures he wants me to read to you and to explain to you the number seven, the number 14, and the number 33, and what why he's been showing it to me because he's fulfilling these promises to the children of Israel and the children of Judah so I'm gonna read to you what 7 means 14 and 33 and the two scriptures God wants me to read to you so you can take it up in fasting and praying alright so 14 they're all really good numbers anyways 14 being the multiple of 7 14 partakes of its importance and being double that Number implies a double measure of spiritual perfection. So it means spiritual perfection, but God's been showing me lately that I've been walking in spiritual perfection. I've been learning a lot with him. I've been so many things that I'm like, I'm not supposed to teach you at this moment. As you could see, like a lot of my tabs are up from the Bible. So yeah, but that is what he also wants for all his people, the children of Israel and the children of Judah, that they're going to be walking in spiritual perfection perfection and he's going to change them in the twinkling of an eye so the number two with which it is combined two and and seven may is 14 however bring its own significance into its meaning as it does in matthew 1 where the genealogy of christ is divided up and given in sets of 14 two times seven 14 generations Two being associated with incarnation. Now let's go to seven. Um, seven. Seven is the number of completeness and perfection, both physical and spiritual. That is what he's going to do for his people. It derives much of its meaning from being tied directly to God's creation of all things and. That is the two numbers he's been showing me. Like this whole week, even today, 7 and 14, 7 and 14. But then he teaches me what, a, what, but I've known because when God teaches me in many ways, birds, numbers, speaking to me, visions, dreams, many different ways. But this is what he wants for all the children of Israel and Judah, not just some of them to be walking in completeness and perfection seven is completeness and perfection what he's going to do for them and physically and spiritually all right it derives much of its meaning from the beginning tied directly to god's creation of all things according to some jewish traditions the creation of adam all right so that's all he wants to read that is just people making up their own perception of this but seven is the number of completeness and perfection both physical and spiritual all right so when god shows you seven a lot that means you're walking in your completeness and perfection both physically and spiritually because God called us to be perfect right so and the last but not least number is 33 all right and then I'm gonna read the lot the two scriptures the meaning of 33 is connected to certain promises made by God so God is going to fulfill those promises to the children of Israel and the children of Judah which is why he's been showing me also 33 so these three numbers, 7, 33, and 14. And this is just the promises that he's going to fulfill for the children of Israel and children of Judah. The 33 time Noah's name is used in scripture is when God makes a special covenant or promise with him. The eternal promises to not destroy the entire world again with a flood and seals he pledges with the sign of a rainbow. All right? So... Um, the children of Israel have to understand that it's this means God's eternal promises is, are going to be made. All right, so they need to keep the faith, right? So back to these scriptures. So 7, 14, and 33. And if you wanted to know where I was getting this from, it's the Bible study or dot com. You can that it's pretty precise on what numbers mean. Now, Psalms 33 and 12. Blessed is that nation whose God is the Lord. And the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. 
The people God chose for his own inheritance is the children of Israel and the children of Judah, which is why 7, 14, 33 are all good numbers. Um, com spiritual perfection, spiritual completeness and perfection, both physically and spiritually, and God's promises being fulfilled. So this is why he wants me to explain 7, 14, and 33 and read Psalms 33 and 12 and Matthew 1 and 7. So, blessed is the, the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Now, Matthew 1 and 17. So, all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. You remember the daughter of Zion, King David's daughter, and him, the dominion and the kingdom coming to her first. So, this is all these promises being made now. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. So this is what God wants to, you to understand. The 14 generations being carried away into Babylon. Him restoring them, reconciling them. And 33, for God fulfilling his promises with them. Like... Now, that's why he took me to read to you Psalms 33 and 12 for them to remember. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. So if we go back here now on 33, it says 33 is connected to certain promises made by God. Right. Noah is used in scripture when God makes a special covenant or promise with him. And then we go back to 14 right as they are the three sets of 14 generations and including Abraham to Joseph right so 14 generations now if we go back here why would God take me to this scripture Matthew 1 and 17 so all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations and from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations and from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are 14 generations. And then, all right, we go to seven. I just want to go back to refresh your memory. Um, Book of Revelation, seven is the number of completeness and perfection, both physical and spiritual. All right, so you have a blessed day, and I hope this helped you a lot. And you can take this up with fasting and praying, but I think this is a beautiful message and word from God.